Hello, Algebra students. Mr. Lawrence here with a quick review for tomorrow's test. Now, I wasn't going to do this because I made the longer review video, but I started thinking I'm a little concerned. I want you guys to do your best. I want you to be able to, to be proud of your scores the next day. Even if you only get a C, if you did your best, I want you to be able to be proud. I really care about you, and I want you to learn as much as possible. So that's why I'm doing for this. And Kyle, you better believe that, because I really do care. I want you to be successful. All right, so I put together what are going to be the main points of the test. So we're just going to get down to it so this video doesn't turn into being something too long. All right, first of all, being able to calculate slope from two points, something we haven't done a whole lot of in a while. It's been a little bit embedded when we're doing our writing equations, but it's one of the early things, okay? Remember, I can subtract my y's, negative 7 minus negative 3. Notice there's two minuses. When the second number is going to be negative, there's going to be two subtraction signs. Please be careful with that. Some of you will only write one. When the second number is negative, there's going to be two minuses, and those will change into a positive. All right, so my rise number is going to be negative 7 plus 3, which is negative 4. Now, you guys are allowed to use calculators tomorrow, so I don't expect to see anybody having the wrong answer. All right, I see negative 7 plus 3, which would be negative 4. By the way, I'm expecting you to watch this video Monday night. I am going to post it earlier. If you uh, hear me say tomorrow, I'm referring to Tuesday, the day of the test. Okay, now I have to do 5 minus negative 8 in my denominator. And so that'll be 5 minus negative 8 in my denominator. And I'm going to get 13. And I check to see if my slope can be reduced, but this one cannot. Okay, now I could have set it up by going this way. I could have gone negative 3 minus 7, excuse me, minus negative 7, changing those. My numerator would become a 4, and then I could have done negative 8 minus 5. Negative 8 minus 5. See, there's not a negative on the 5, so there's only one negative in, this, in the equation, or in the uh, denominator. That gets to be negative 13. Both answers are the same. Yeah, they're the same. Of course, I like this as an answer, or the negatives out front, but it's totally acceptable for you to have a negative in the numerator or denominator. It's unusual to see it in the denominator. Anyway, they're all the same. Okay, three forms of graphing. Be able to graph from all three forms. Remember, slope-intercept form looks like this y equals mx plus b. I know this is the one most of you are good at. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a tiny bit of graphing. First one will be from slope-intercept form. Get the equation y equals uh, negative one-fourth x plus six. I know most of you can do the y-intercept. Remember, the y-intercept has to go on the y-axis. Please be careful of that. Two, three, four, five, six. I count six right there. Now my slope, Dylan, I hope you're paying attention, buddy. I'm doing this especially for you. Remember, the slope could be negative one over positive four, or it could be one over negative four. It cannot be both negative, because if it were both negative, the negatives would cancel each other out giving me a slope of positive one fourth, and we know that's not right. Okay, so I'm going to go down one, and then write one, two, three, four. I can go down one, write one, two, three, four. I could also go up one and back one, two, three, four. I could go up one, back one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm going to graph my line. And it's going to look something like that. So that's from slope-intercept form. Just a quick review. Okay, I'm going to do a different line. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to do it on the same graph. I'm going to do uh, from point slope form. Remember, I have a y minus a y coordinate, and I'm going to make my y coordinate a positive. 
well actually it's a negative 2, and we use the inverse, my slope is going to be say 3, and then I'm going to have x minus, I don't know, 5. Okay, so my slope, I know most of you can go boom, it's 3 over 1. Now, the point, you need to remember this. Megan, I'm talking to you, sweetie. I know I know you're going to remember this, and I hope you help your classmates around you remember. But not during the test, of course. I use the inverse of this number. So there's a negative 5. My x-coordinate is a positive 5. My y-coordinate is a 2. It's going to be a negative 2, actually. I use the inverse. So I graph the point. 5, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Okay, my slope is 3 over 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. Of course, I could have gone down 1, 2, 3, and then back 1. Okay, I want you guys to be so successful on Tuesday. I'm hoping that you study and do your best. Now, some of my algebra kids decided to study and do their best, and man, it was amazing at what they did. Amazing. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to go from standard form. Remember, standard form is ax plus by equals c, and the a has to be a positive, right? So let's say I have a 4x minus uh, 3y, and we're going to let that equal, say, negative uh, 24. Okay. I can make a t-table and get my intercepts. I like graphing by intercepts. Put 0 in for x. y is going to end up being 8. I put 0 in for y. And x is going to be negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, remember, I also showed you a trick. You could find the slope, if you wanted to, by doing a over b and then changing the sign. Now watch this. I'm going to rise 1, 2, 3, 4. Run 1, 2, 3. I'm going to, I should make that green, sorry. Rise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and boom, I hit the line again, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. All right. And let me make that line green, and then we'll get on to the next problem. There we go. Okay, so a quick review there. Let's back up and writing equations. Now I'm going to do it two different ways. Um, the first way, hold on, that didn't look like the point I wanted it to. Is just when you're given two points. Can you get me an equation in y equals mx plus b form? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my slope. And this is another subtraction one. So I'm going to do negative 10 minus negative 7. Whop, whop. And then I'm going to do 6 minus negative 5. 6 minus negative 5. Whop, whop. All right. I'm going to get a negative 3 in my numerator. I'm going to get an 11 in my denominator. All right, so I apologize. This one is going to get ugly. Let me change that, that negative 5 to a positive 5. I goof there, and that's going to change my denominator. I apologize for this, guys. I had in, not intended to give you such an ugly one to work on. I think I made a, just a sign error. So I'm going to do 6 minus positive 5, which is 1, and this will be a little bit prettier. All right. I need an x and I need a y. Well, I have an x and a y here. I also have an x and a y here. Which one I use is entirely up to me. I plug in y 
coordinate, plug in the slope, and plug in the x coordinate, and I'm going to simplify and solve for p. And so I'll add 18 to both sides, and I'll get 11 equals b, and so therefore y equals negative 3x plus 11. All right, two more I want to do. Similar type problems. I'm going to write the equation of line parallel to this line, y equals 2 thirds x minus 5, through the point 12, 5. Well, first I ask myself, what is the slope of the original line? 2 thirds, right? So my parallel slope is also 2 thirds. Remember that parallel lines have the same slope. Okay, now just like I did in the last problem, I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. I'm going to fill in 5 for y, 2 thirds for m, 12 for x plus 5, uh, excuse me, plus b. I'm going to simplify. 3 is going to be 12 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8 plus b. Subtracting 8 from both sides will get me negative 3 equals b. My equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. There you go. I do the perpendicular one. I know my original slope is 2 thirds. Remember a perpendicular slope is going to be negative 3 over 2. Ah. Uh, and I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to get 5 for y, negative 3 over 2x plus b. Oops, I need to fill in an x value, don't I? Silly me. Sorry, I was distracted momentarily. had a thought about your test. And that caused a small mistake. I hope you can forgive me my second mistake in the video. It might be unforgivable. All right. 2 is going to go into 12 6 times. 6 times 3, 18, but it's negative, plus b. b is going to end up equaling 23. How did I get that? I added 18 to both sides. y is going to equal negative 3 over 2x plus b. All right. One last thing I want to mention When you have an equation that looks like this, or an equation that looks like this, I want you, when you're trying to answer a question about them, make sure you're making a sketch graph. Okay? It's real easy. Blue one, make a t-table. Okay? 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I actually did an extra point, didn't I? I did 5, 0. That's okay. I put in my T table. What kind of line am I going to get there? Well, I'm going to get a vertical line, of course. Right? And so when you have a vertical line like this, ask yourself, can you ski down it? This is the line that has no slope. Vertical lines have no slope. Consequent, or, uh, conversely, y equals 4, my t table, I know that the y value has to be 4. Put in 1, 2, and 3 for x. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4. And in this one, I get a a line that looks like that. And it can't be a broken line. You'll see why next chapter. So I will change that to a solid line. All right. Now, by the way, um, if you weren't sure what the slope was, you could count. I mean, on this red one, I'm going to rise 0, run 1. Right? So my slope 
is 0 over 1, which equals 0 for y equals 4. But on the blue one, I rise 1, run 0. So my slope is 1 over 0, which is undefined. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you the best of success tomorrow. I hope you do your best. I hope you don't give up. I hope when you have those thoughts in your head that say, I don't know how to do this, you ignore them and do something anyway. All right, Mr. Warren, signing off. Good night, everybody. Bye.